Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Abyss, Contracts of Throne and Liberty. In Endgame, you'll play this in-game feature really a lot. It's important. So, what are Abyss Contracts, how to get them and what are the best rewards? Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here playing Throne and Liberty on servers in Korea every evening, mandatory on Twitch. I am live streaming. Visit my live stream on Twitch about 6 p.m. Central European time if you want to get more information about this game while we are waiting for global announcement from Amazon Games. But now, let's focus on Abyss contracts. So, what are actually Abyss contracts? I can show you here in my inventory. I have a few of these. Let's go here. These are Abyss contracts. You can see here, basically, these are scrolls which are making available for you to take quests to go in different kind of open world dungeons. And after you finish that quest, you are getting bags. Out of these bags, you can see here, I have four types of these bags. Abyss, Shadow, Desire, and uh, this is again actually Desire. You can get a different kind of rewards from these bags. I will show you what kind of rewards. So first things first, how to get these scrolls? Every week you can buy 24 contracts from this Sondris merchant in different kind of regions, different kind of parts of the map. Let me show you here. You can buy for Solant in-game currency. Basically these contracts are pretty cheap. You can buy 24 contracts per week. That means four open world dungeons, six scrolls per dungeon. So six quests per dungeon. After you take them, after you buy them, I can show you here, for example, double click on them and you will get a quest. These quests are basically pretty simple. They are not that easy. Don't forget that they are not easy. So basically you will do this every day. Even that you can buy weekly 24 contracts, 24 quests. There will be also some additional ways how to get these contracts. I will mention that in a second. However, these quests are not that easy. So some of them you can do solo depending on which weapon combination are using, but usually you'll play this in a party with other players. Check some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel to see how are these quests actually looking. Different kind of quests, you take these contracts, and I can mention also there is another way how to get these contracts from this precious blessing pouch, but it's completely RNG. There is only possibility that you will get some contracts from this precious blessing pouch. Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel regarding this bag, how to get it, uh, how to buy it and what are rewards. Now, after you have finished right, these quests, 24 quests per week, you will get these bags. Now let's check rewards. I have collect, I have collect for the last few weeks. You, you can see here, I have really a lot of different kind of bags. So let's open them right away. So first bag here from Abyss, double click on it, max 37 and let's go. Let's see rewards. You can see here possibility of rewards, so not guarantee rewards, possibility. You can see here, for example, weapons, purple weapons. Oh, this is nice. Gloves, ring, even blue gear. Let's use and let's see what did I get. Let's check here. I can get this ring, purple ring. This is not bad. Some purple materials, blue gloves, blue weapon, dagger and a blue ring and some stellarite. This was actually not that bad. Let's go forward with this bag here. Shadow from Shadow Crypt. Wait, double click on it, max. From this bag, you can get, oh, look at this. This is very nice weapon. A recipe for weapon, again, weapon, very nice bow, uh, possibility right to get, different kind of materials. Okay, this is a shroud, this is a cloak, what else, blue materials, again, blue equipment, let's go. Wow, this is so good, look at these guys, a recipe for the pants, some blue, uh, blue material, one material is purple, this is good guys. Some of these materials you can use for crafting, the rest of them you can sell at the marketplace for loose and in-game currency, which is very useful. Then I have 20 bags from Desire. Sanctum Desire, this is a special dungeon, open world dungeon, which you can enter only when it rains. Check the dedicated video on my YouTube channel regarding Sanctum of Desire. Again, recipes for purple armor. Then we have here crossbow stuff, crossbow purple and uh, purple stuff, not bad. Some materials, purple book, let's check. 
Ooh, not so easy. This time only one purple material, uh, two uh, blue materials and some stellarite. Uh, let's go again. I have, uh, what do I have? 10 more, okay. Maybe I will be better luck now. So from Sanctum of Desire, not so easy to get anything useful. So I can get only blue, uh, blue boots, right? And blue materials. So these are rewards. Now, among these rewards, which you can see I have just get, right? You can get a different kind of armor, weapon, even purple armor, purple weapon. You can get different kind of rewards. You will also get this here, Abyss Currency. Abyss Currency is very important. Why? I can show you here. You can craft with this Abyss Currency, this necklace and different kind of parts. You can see this here, basically equipment chest. I will make special video on my YouTube channel very soon regarding Abyss Currency so that you can see what can you actually craft and is it useful even to craft with this Abyss Currency. But you can again get purple gear from these chests and you can get guarantee this purple necklace. Let's check, will I get some better items on my second character? I can collect these bags for the last few weeks maybe two weeks maybe a little bit uh, longer and now i have also on this character let me show you here this is another combination of weapons i'm playing here a longbow wand combination of weapons let's go inventory and i have here you can see 26 abyss uh, 29 shadow uh, desire 20 and 4 24 desire let's go abyss first max 26 let's go uh, okay, I have get purple gloves. I need to check do I already have purple gloves. Some blue weapons, uh, blue gear and some purple materials. These materials should be very expensive, which is good. Let me check do I already have purple gloves or not. No, I don't. This is amazing. You can see here I don't have purple, uh, I don't have purple gloves, right? I have uh, blue gloves, so I will replace them with new gloves. Uh, let's go, let's do it. Here we go, my new part of the gear. Let's go forward. Let's uh, open here 29 Shadow. Shadow, 29 from Shadow, uh, Shadow Crypt uh, Open World Dungeon. Come on, give me something. So I have get some purple materials. I have get a recipe, crafting recipe for pants. This is pretty good. Another purple material, blue materials, blue necklace. Uh, I wonder regarding pants, what do I have? Let's check for one second. Nice. Look at this. I have blue pants. That means that I'll be able to craft purple pants and then I will put them here instead. So this is very useful. Guys, this is very, very useful. You can see here, you can get very uh, lots of useful things. Now let's check desire. Uh, regarding desire, I was not that lucky on my great sword wand combination of weapons. Maybe I'll be more lucky here. Let's go. Uh, no, so regarding Sanctum of Desire, it's not easy to get anything useful, looks like. So again, purple material, blue material, blue uh, gloves, but I don't see any purple part of the gear. I have four more chests here. Use. And one purple material, two blue materials. What is uh, very important also, I have get a uh, lots of these Abyss uh, currency, which I can use later for crafting. That's very important, what I have shown you. I will make a dedicated video on my YouTube channel very soon that you can see what you can actually craft, right? For this Abyss currency. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you can see here, I have get a uh, lots of different kind of useful materials, uh, gear parts, uh, weapon, armor. So basically all depends on your luck on your RNG, right? However, like I have said on the start, buy these contracts 24 per week, and you can do this daily. Every day, a little bit, right? You can do these quests, and they're very useful, especially when you reach to level 50 to get some basic purple gear, purple material, right, for crafting. Then later, you can go for some better gear. Nevertheless, these Abyss contracts are very useful. Very soon on my YouTube channel, you will see another video where I will go into crafting with Abyss Currency to check actually RNG on that crafting on those chests. Is it actually useful or not to go for this Abyss Currency? For this evening, this guide regarding Abyss Contracts of Throne and Liberty. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. 
I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. So join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.